Hi, this is Mark Wallstrom. Welcome to the Legal Broadcast Network. We're broadcasting today from Mass Torts Made Perfect in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, joining me today is Brian Michaels from ATG Trust Company. Earlier today, Jan Schlickman from the Legal Broadcast Network and Civil Action Center presented here to the Mass Torts Made Perfect conference on the topic of Procrit, a new concept in Mass Tort Resolution. One of the key things that we've talked about and will be featured in a breakout session this afternoon and in a lot of our follow-up podcasts and commentary that we're going to be doing here on the network is the concept of the Procrit Settlement Trust or the ESA Trust uh, that's being developed by uh, Civil Action Center. Part of that and an integral part of it is obviously the use of a corporate trustee and I've asked Brian Michaels uh, from ATG to join us, talk a little bit about ATG, uh, the kind of the unique application of the 468B Trust and the type of services that his firm uh, provides. So Brian, if you could just give us a little bit of background on ATG and, and uh, we're glad to have you here today. Thanks, thanks Mark. Well, ATG Trust Company, we're a wholly owned subsidiary of a company called uh, Attorney's Title Guarantee Fund. We're kind of unique in the uh, in the legal community in that we're uh, we're owned, uh, for lack of a better de description, it's kind of like a co-op of uh, about 3,500 lawyers who banded together to be a, a lawyer service organization. Okay. About uh, eight or nine years ago, um, <clears throat> through the through the practice of law, um, they kind of determined that there was a real need for. A trust company that was built around the practice of law. Okay. So not a trust company that was uh, part of a bank, mm -hmm. but actually, uh, you know, lawyers in their office could feel real comfortable with with bringing, uh, you know, kind of difficult cases right. and and kind of the the, the the feet on the ground type of cases. Sure. And I and I can kind of attest to that too. I mean, one of the things that we found in putting this together is it's very difficult to find a financial institution that understands it, but a creation or a trust company that understands trial lawyers is part of the legal yeah. community. Uh, you guys bring a special uh, understanding of what we're trying to do that just isn't found in other trust companies and uh, is really an integral part of it. So I, I'm sorry, but go ahead. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a very, uh, very good point. That we, we're very well familiar with uh, all sorts of the litigation type of accounts. We have mm -hmm. a number of special needs trusts, qualified settlement funds, um, you know, escrow accounts, any sort of accounts. I mean, even regular, I should say regular, but um, irrevocable trusts that are born out of litigation. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of trust companies are, are a little bit afraid. You know, when you're a trust company, the one thing you don't want to do is be sued. Right, um, right. So I think there's a natural kind of fear of, of that, that, that whole thing. But being built, a, a trust company built around the practice of law, is, as you know, it's an integral part of the, the practice of law. Yes. Uh, so we're you know day in and day out talking with with attorneys and, and, and working on those cases. I know one of the things too that, that that's of interest are, are structured settlements, and we have a number of, of, of a lot of uh, trusts that that structured settlements uh, pour into. So we work a lot with integrating those, right, right. you know, with structured settlement brokers and and. Uh, and the attorneys mm -hmm. yeah, and special needs yeah. firms and, and really one of the things too in this whole uh, idea of the procrit trust uh, is that you guys have the ability to essentially set up this trust uh, in advance it, it'll be largely unfunded but a lot of the accounting uh, tracking of beneficiaries uh, right. just talk about that a little bit before we wrap up mm -hmm. uh, really some of the, the services that you provide for uh, law firms in that tracking, and also some of the privacy protection that you right. provide as well. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's one of the things that we do as a trust company, as you can imagine. Uh, we have a large number of, of accounts, different kinds of trusts, that sort of thing, that, that we manage, and we have a lot of beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. We do, um, um, you know, on, on a routine basis for us, all of the administrative tracking for all of those uh, beneficiaries already. So for us, it's kind of our normal course of business. Right. We're also, from a privacy standpoint, a trust company. So we're very private by, um, you know, kind of just by, by definition nature, by, law, by nature right, yeah. what we do. <laughs> so it's, it's really difficult to actually get information out of us. Yeah. Um, so, but, so, but so to your attorney, point, what, yeah, yeah. What, what we have or what we have the ability to do and what we do is actually segregate, you know, we set up the trust before it's funded. Um, and, and accumulate the, the names, the beneficiaries into, uh, into the database. And it's set up in a way that um, 
that, that the information is uh, available to the attorney whose client it is, okay. but not to any of the other any other um, entities that are entities part of the trust. Part of the sure. trust correct. So, so and, essentially, you and can that's, have, and that's what we do. Yeah. I mean, that's a normal uh, course of, of, of business for us that okay. we do. Yeah, and because I know one of the things, whenever we get into mass tort litigation, we get into these uh, ideas of, of pooling and conglomerating data, a lot of attorneys do worry. They say, well, what if I put it in and other attorneys know where my, my clients are, they know what's going on with my clients. You have the ability, uh, and we've, we've seen this and we can certainly verify it, and we've used it in many uh, instances, where you have the ability to uh, segregate out individuals, but you also have the ability to provide information uh, on, a, on a, let's say, a global basis to say, here's the number of attorneys that are in the trust, right. here's the number of beneficiaries. So you can have sort of the measuring data you need with the privacy protections and the case protection uh, that a trial lawyer would typically want for their cases that are in the trust. And, yeah, that, that's, and, that's, and that's really going to be an integral part of what we're doing uh, with the Procrit Settlement Trust. So, Brian, we'll try to, uh, uh, the other thing, and we'll, I'll just announce this right now, is that we are going to have uh, the trust company channel. Uh, Brian is going to be sponsoring, uh, not Brian, but ATG, <laughs> and Brian and his company are going to be sponsoring uh, commentary by uh, attorney Robert Wood, one of the four post uh, tax specialists in the country. Uh, ATG is going to be doing a lot of uh, work and commentary on these type of products, these type of issues. So if you are uh, on the civil action site, the legal broadcast network, uh, the settlement channel, any of the affiliated uh, stations and channels, you're going to have the ability to also tap into this type of uh, information and uh, this kind of resource. So, and we're glad to have you part of it. Yeah, we're thanks. glad you're here today. Thanks. And uh, thanks. it's been exciting news. Uh, this is Mark Wallstrom. Again, we're reporting from uh, Mass Towards Made Perfect in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining us today.